Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This evening is going to be an involuntary cold water shave. Details to come. But you saw the thumbnail, I'm using 345's Shark Bite, which is a summer seasonal that has scent notes of pineapple, pear, coconut, and wood. When I first got it, I wasn't a huge fan of the scent. Uh, it was very kind of wood forward, and I wanted more of the fruit notes. But now that I've had it for a little over a year, the wood's kind of toned down a little bit for me. It's more of a background note. And the, the fruit notes kind of shine a little bit more through that, and I thoroughly enjoy it. The brush this evening is Teton Shaves Zen Series. I think this is the 28 mil knot. Big, a big old knot. <coughs> the brush, or this is the brush, the razor, it's going to be the uh, Blackland Blackbird. And everything is whipped up in the copper, not copper, in the stainless steel HCNC bowl. Speaking of HCNC, don't forget the giveaway that's going on. There are about 20 entrants thus far, 22 or so, if I remember if I counted correctly as of today. At time of recording. About 24 hours worth of growth on the face, a bunch more on the head as you can tell, they'll be shaved later on on video. I think the blade in here is a PAA Platinum Strangelette, great blade in here. Now, as far as the shave, well, it's involuntarily cold water. So, our hot water heater decided that it uh, wanted to stop working. You know, we've been in the house under two years now. But our hot water heater's not wanting to work properly. Luckily, it's a newer water heater. Like I said, we've been here in less than two years since a brand new home. Throwing up an error at one of the valves or something. There's an error with one of the valves for the gas. So we get to call somebody tomorrow and have that looked at. So that'd be fun. Luckily, our heater still works, but you know, I took a shower tonight. With the cold water, and, you know, I can do lukewarm, slightly cold water, but not full blown cold. The ambient temperature of the room around me was warmer than my water. That wasn't very pleasant. I can already hear people commenting, wimp. Yep. I at least want my water to be the same temperature or slightly warmer than the sur my, my surroundings when I'm in my house, unless it's a super duper hot day. That's an exception. But when it's February in Utah, cold water showers aren't that fun. So, cold water rinse, cold water everything. At least the water in my little mister here is room temperature, because it's been in there for a few days. But even then, it's not like warm.
If it were that bad, I could use my scuttle. Warmed up the lather and did my lather that way, but. There's a scuttle sitting right here. Empty. And I almost use that for a minute. I think if it were bigger, probably would have. Now the soap, as I mentioned the scent notes earlier, wasn't my thing when, it, when I first got it. Uh, which is odd because I smelled the previous year's sample, I received a sample of the soap. It was very fruit forward. Wood supporting note. But that's because it's also a year old. So when I got it. And smell is like, okay. Up the pocket, get a little bit of the wood and everything, and leathered it up, and it's like, ooh, wood forward. Not my thing. But now that it's older, this plate's toast. After the shade's done. Anyway, now that uh, shark bite for me is a little older, that wood tones, wood sense has kind of mellowed out. It's much more pleasant, much more pleasing. It's it's a good scent now. And I believe I mentioned this when I was talking about the uh, shave meetup in Idaho late last year that John from 345 was there and I spent some time talking to him and I was like, you know, hey, I tried bowl lathering, your soaps had issues with it, face lathered it, had no problem. Thoroughly enjoy it now that I was using it for a face lather. Finally figured out how to bowl lather it. Thanks again, John. And I was like, you know, to be honest, and this is after I smelled like your supplement and after the pug, they're all really, really good. So, you know, to be honest, um, the first of yours I bought was shark bite. And the scent kind of just turned me off. And the issues I was having with lathering, and you know, I'm sure that's just on me, but. But, you know, that's kind of held me off on buying more of your product. Was the, the scent on shark bite just wasn't what I was expecting, and. But now that I've smelled stuff here, and it's a normal with bowl latherer, but some soaps, you know, they just work better if you face lather, I get it. I can tell you now, after smelling what I've smelled here, that I will be buying more of your product. And I have. You know, John's a, a phenomenal guy. I've already mentioned before that he's spent time with me to kind of showing the, his process of bowl lathering and as it pertains to his soap, which I still greatly appreciate. Thanks again, John. Assuming you watch this. But stuff like that, you know, the small things that artisans do. These are that that make me want to support them more. I already like his soaps, especially now that I've figured out how best to use it. And really it's not that hard, it's just me being dumb. Which is odd because, you know, I can lather Mitchell's and notoriously hard soaps to lather, like 
the Mitchell, you know, Mitchell's Wolf Fat, and Williams Mug Soap. I can neither of those, but I was just having trouble with his soaps for some dumb reason. But I figured it out, as you can tell. So I have bought more from John. And his is really good stuff. Good stuff. So, if you haven't tried 345, I think it's 345, that's what I've heard him refer to it as. If you have not tried 345, highly recommend it. John's a really good guy. Makes really good soap. Bowl lathering, face lathering. It's really slick. And I will say, if you don't like stuff like Shark Bite, to start off, let it sit for a little bit. Just let it blend, mature a little bit more. I came around to it. You might too. That's why if you have a soap that you just first use, like, yeah, this isn't for me. Sit out for a minute. And this is a prime example. I almost got rid of the soap. And kind of almost swore off 345. Glad I did not. Because then I would miss out on the the Idaho scent for that meetup was is phenomenal. And hometown, really good soap too. That was a great shave, despite being cold. Anyway, I'm gonna call that good. I'm going to do my cleanup and light off camera because I still had to shave my head. So Thank you guys again for tuning in. Don't forget to get what's going on. Thanks to all the new subscribers, old subscribers, those that, those that watch that aren't subscribed, subscribe so you can be entered in a giveaway. Anyway, thanks all again, and I'll see y'all next time.